my beautiful friends so today i wanted to share with you how i freshen up after like a long day of work knowing i have something to do later that night so my sister um it's spring break where we are i'm sure it's spring break mostly everywhere but um my sister decided to take my daughter for the night they wanted to spend some quality time and my husband said you know since we're not gonna have anybody home why don't we go out to this mexican restaurant um that we've been looking forward to for so long but my daughter is such a picky eater and I don't, she does like Mexican food, but it's like Taco Bell <laughs> Mexican food, you know what I mean? So I just thought I would show you how I freshen up. Um, my hair is kind of like windblown because it's like 75 out, it's gorgeous. I'm going to change my outfit, we'll pick out an outfit together. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Charlie. I love doing lifestyle, plus size content, makeup, hair, all kinds of stuff for you guys, nails. So if that sounds interesting, I would love you to stick around and subscribe. So I put on my makeup. I think roughly 7.30. Now, if you can see with these glasses, it tears off the nose of my makeup so, so bad. My makeup doesn't look bad. It's mostly my hair that I kind of want to adjust and fix. But I have a couple of these just laying around in a bin. Um, and they're just like, they're the sheets that get rid of oil. So I'm going to start there. That way I can like fix anything that I got going on. My eyes were really bothering me again this morning. If anyone has, sorry, I wanted to lift you up. If you guys have any suggestions for any really good hydrating um, eye drops, I would love to hear it. The ones that I got, I don't know. They seem to almost make it worse. And I'm sure it's seasonal allergies, but um, I don't know for sure. Let me put so you guys can see me because this isn't like a to this isn't like a tutorial it's more excuse to let me shut that so no one gets upset more like just freshening up um and i definitely need to put on new nails so let's just keep blotting as you can see it picks up quite a bit of oil luckily i'm not really oily i'm actually more just like combo to normal and i kind of want to just try to do something nice with my hair So it just looks like there's a few little things that need to be fixed, mostly around my nose and things like that. Let me put you in front of me so that you can see. So I've been loving this e.l.f. camo concealer. I got mine in light beige and it's really nice. I'm just going to fix up around my nose, like right here, where it's been a mess from um, my glasses and kind of just fix what I can and do something with my eyes a little bit. I, for some reason, I didn't really powder this morning because again, my face or my eyes are just bothering me so bad. And as you can see, my eyes are creasing really bad. And do right around here. I might put just a drop on my chin because I didn't really set my chin like i mean a drop because i don't really like putting cream over a lot of powder but i just want to fix it because it looked like my makeup smeared a little bit from my lipstick blush still looks pretty good and i'm going to go in with my setting powder and just fix a few things and really set everything mostly like my chin here Darn, I left my lipstick that I've been wearing downstairs. That's okay. Hmm, that didn't look too great. It kind of sticked there. Oh, well. So we're going to this mariachi, Mexican mariachi. It's in like a college town. And the menu is fantastic. I'm so excited. Um, we never get to really do anything like this. And I think that um, I don't want this to come off as like sounding odd. But like since our friends have been in the process of divorcing and it's just been so kind of gnarly and horrible. Um, not that my husband and I never really appreciated each other. You, We do. But like, I don't know, it kind of just makes you appreciate more what you have. Do you know what I mean? Um, 
it, it's just a terrible thing to watch two people divorce. It really, really is. So I just got done with blotting all my makeup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take whatever's left over on this brush that was my bronzer from this morning and kind of just hit the temple. And I definitely need to do something with my nose. Maybe add like a smidge more concealer on the tip because it looks kind of crazy today for some reason. Like this stuff is full, full, full coverage. So be very careful with it. That's all I can say about the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. It is full coverage. So yeah, so ever since like... Okay, that's much better. Ever since they've been kind of throwing around the divorce and just seeing them fighting and having to rescue people and help, it's just very uh, unsettling and upsetting. And he's like, hey, since Brooke's going to be down at um, your grandmother's with your sister, maybe... Um, we can go have like a little date and I'm like, heck yeah, I'm not going to pass out, go and pass up an opportunity to show off my husband. That's for sure. Because let me tell you something, I'm a very lucky woman. I'm very, very lucky to have such a good person on my side. I'm just going to kind of set right there because I didn't this morning and then just go in with a little bit of blush. I'm very lucky to have him and he's lucky to have me. But, uh, Divorce is such an awful thing, but I don't want to be like a Debbie Downer. So that's all I got going so far. I definitely got to do something with my eyes. They look horrible. Um, my daughter drove today um, and she put a job application in for a guaranteed employment. So that's exciting. And um, let me think. She We opened up her a bank account. So that she can start working because everything nowadays is um, direct deposit, as you most you know, as most people know. So that's really really exciting. I'm just going in. There's nothing on this. I'm just kind of buffing out the creases. I don't know why my eyes creased so bad today, except I didn't set them really really well. So I'm gonna go in and try to set them with this little mini powder. And then she drove far today. She completed her behind the wheel and she ended up with her. She does have her permit now and she's doing pretty well driving. Um, she has a lot to learn and that's, I guess, what the six months does for you. So, yeah, a lot of exciting and good things going on. I'm looking for a little more of a permanent uh, job, something that I would be a little more happy with. Um, trying to look for like office work or something like that or going back to school. I just don't know quite yet. Definitely looking for something here in the next uh, year or so. You're a naughty girl for scratching the couch, miss. So we shall see. Um, I enjoy doing YouTube, obviously. It's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things in the whole world, but you know, this is a hobby. This is for fun. You know what I mean? This is to share. Of course, everyone would love to do it for a living, but it's unreasonable and unrealistic. For me, I don't have views like that. It's This is strictly something I do to relax and just have fun and connect with people. Um, and while my job that I've had for quite a couple years, I've had it for like seven years, it, it's just time for me to do something more full-time not necessarily because uh, of the money. It's just I need to get out of this house. My daughter's going to be driving and isn't going to be relying on me as much. I've done my job raising her at this age. And she's going to be a lot more independent. And to tell you the truth, I dread. This is like some people might be able to relate and others might not. But Monday is one of the hardest days for me. I like dread the weekday because I feel so lonely at home by myself and it's just unhealthy for me and I need to do something. I need to do something that keeps me busy. Even if it's another part-time job, I just really, really desperately need to do something. So I'm gonna finish up with my makeup because I don't wanna bore you to death. And then I will be back when we do something with this mess of a hair. So here is the 
freshened up makeup my blush is a little much but I will fix that and my hair should have probably been washed two days ago not gonna lie Ooh, I hate wearing it up because it always gives me like a sore scalp um it definitely should have been washed a couple of days ago it might not look like it on camera but it's definitely um it needs a good cleaning, I should say. I'm going to take these earrings out. These are those little cute ones that I got off Shein for like a dollar or two. The blush looks a little harsh, but it will kind of calm down, I hope. <laughs> and I'm just going to brush it out and we're going to figure out what we're going to do with it. I might do like a half, in, half up, half down. Because I think I'm going to wear one of my longer dresses. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I have about eight pounds of dry shampoo in it. So I don't know if I can put any more dry shampoo in without it being like kind of gross. Because on camera it really doesn't look bad, but um, it's not the best. And my nails are definitely like at the stage where they're ready to be um, replaced and taken off. Um, these little Kate Sp Spade bags are so good for, like, holding hair stuff. So I keep, like, little rubber bands and I keep my, um, bobby pins in there. So where is my comb? I really, really, really want to try not to put any heat on it today. Any more heat on it. Because I don't, I don't like to put heat on it, like, the day, the day I know I have to wash it so i'm hoping to do maybe like half up half down space buns maybe and maybe just curl like the front piece where my i don't know maybe not at all that's why these little rubber bands come in such the little black or I usually like the clear ones. They're just so good to keep in the house because you can do so much with them. You guys, my eyebrow, it's so weird. My eyebrow has been itching so bad lately. I think my allergies are just really kind of putting my body out of whack because I've been waking up with my ears hurting and my belly kind of hurting and I know sometimes when your ears are bothering you it can affect your stomach because it affects your balance but I don't know I feel like these allergies this year are some of the worst that they've ever been all right let's try to pump this one up a little give it some volume kind of pull the front a little and then kind of look like a water fountain like you did with your two-year-olds when they were babies or if you still have babies i haven't had a baby in so long and i'm gonna just do the same to this side it doesn't have to be perfect i prefer it to be a little more messy but hold on let me just at least make sure i have the same amount i do not i'm not a hairdresser you guys Although I get asked that quite a bit in my real life. I always get asked, do I do makeup or hair for a living? How much do I charge? <laughs> How much would I charge even though I don't do it? I had a woman who uh, tracked me down at the car dealership. She was an employee there and she followed me through the whole car dealership to ask me if I did makeup because she had an upcoming wedding. And I felt so bad because she was an older woman. She was maybe, no, I guess she wasn't. She was maybe 50. So I don't want to say she was older. But she tracked me down and she was so upset when I was like, I don't do makeup. This would be cute, but it's a little childish for me. Not that space, I mean, here I am doing space buns. Like that's not childish. All right, let me get out some of the bobby pins that I have. I do have blonde bobby pins, luckily. Ugh, they're all covered in hair and stuck in the bottom. I just have regular bobby pins and I'm just going to make little buns. Hopefully the back doesn't look too bad and too greasy. Oh well. Leave a couple of little hairs sticking out. 
I'm looking to get a cowgirl hat because I said in a couple videos I have a concert coming up in May and it's a country concert so I would love to get myself like a custom made fitted hat because I went to Tractor Supplies and they had some $30 hats, some cheaper ones, but they were so damn big on my head that they looked a little funny. And they kind of look like the ones that you can pick up at like Walmart. So I wasn't really impressed. But then if you go to like Boot Barn, they're like four or $500, some of the hats, or like $60 even. And I'm like, I just can't justify it unless it was like branded and custom made to my head. So if anyone knows where I can find like a really good cowgirl hat or cowboy hat, whichever, because um, I'm looking to get one for my concert. If not, I'm not that worried about it. But I would like to get a fitted one that's not like going to cost me my entire life savings. Oh, they're a little close together, but that's okay. And then I have these little sticker out or sprouts. I'm going to put a couple more bobby pins in because my hair is so thick that it just won't hold. Okay, my beautiful friends. So this is the end of the video. I just wanted to share with you real quick all over what I'm wearing. Sorry, my dishwasher's running. I forgot to run it last night and that's not good and I usually don't. So I went with these just plain gold hoops. I'm not loving this lip. It's naked by ABH. I just don't like it with the pink, but it's fine for now. Um, my like little medallion my sister made me. Just a turquoise ring. I'm going to do my nails right now. And it's just my old navy dress that you guys have, guys have seen several times. It's just a floral um, maxi dress. Let me pull it all the way down. And I just paired it with my cowboy boots. These are the boots I wore with it. Sorry for the socks. But yeah, I, I know brown and black isn't always a look but this is the whole dress this is the boots that's what i'm wearing i'm not changing the boots i know some people think it's like a cardinal sin to wear black and brown together but me personally i don't really care i'm gonna wear whatever you know what i mean it makes me happy um so i'm going out to enjoy some time with my husband it's much needed we haven't had any time together for a couple weeks just helping people and I know that's like what life is but it sure makes you appreciate the people close to you and my friends on here and when something bad in your life happens it just brings out who your true friends are so if you're going through anything I really 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 hope this just gives you maybe however long this video is 15 17 minutes of just some peace and quiet and some downtime I want that to be what my channel is. I've had some like amazing, amazing comments lately telling me that people feel like um, there's a connection or that I truly care. And the truth is I really, really do. I don't ever care if I became popular. Is it something that you dream about? Sure, or would like to have happen? Yes. But I also know that I could do more trendy things to become more popular. And if I wanted to do that, I know it would get a different audience or demographic, but that's not what I'm looking for. What I'm looking for is friends and a connection here. And I feel like that's what I'm building. And people that get my content will get it and understand it and appreciate it. And that's all that matters to me. So I hope that you enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you all in my next video and I'll update you how the Mexican restaurant was maybe in my next video. I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. They have amazing reviews, but I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.